The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers began its final series of tests for the Seven Oaks Dam near Highland this week. This week they're discharging more water than they've ever discharged in the um, dam's history since it was completed nearly 10 years ago. It's important just to verify the integrity of the dam and to uh, confirm really the operations and maintenance manual. A huge development for a project that began in 1990. If the dam is able to successfully make it through this series of tests, it will finally be certified to operate at full capacity. It's rare that there's enough water behind the dam to actually test it in this fashion, and this is why it's taken um, so long to actually have this final test. The dam's operations will then be officially handed over to a partnership made of water agencies from San Bernardino, Riverside, and Orange Counties. The Seven Oaks Dam is a vital part of the Santa Ana River main stem flood control system and will work in tandem with the Prado Dam in Riverside and is designed to protect residents from a 100-year flood. Well, it's great for, for us, not just for Riverside County flood, but also for all three counties. Um, it's a, a great flood control feature for the County of Orange, um, who's funded a, a, the lion's share of the local cost of this project. It's a great flood control feature as well as a water conservation feature for Riverside County and then for San Bernardino County as well. The reservoir behind the dam can store up to 145,000 acre feet of water. We plan, we plan this test every year and should we have a rainfall event and enough runoff from that event to bring in enough water, we were planning on doing the test. And that rainfall event they were waiting for finally came in December. We started here with, with uh, 32,000 acre feet of water was, was residing in the dam and that was that was high enough in, in elevation and volume there was enough volume of it to do these tests. Now this water is moving at about 50 miles per hour. The Army Corps of Engineers estimates about 3,600 cubic feet per second is moving through. On Thursday that rate is going to nearly double to 6,000 cubic feet per second. That's when a second gate will be open. Officials say the channel was designed to allow for an outflow of up to 7,000 cubic feet per second. So far, so good. Everything's functioning as designed. A similar test was conducted in 2005 but was stopped when a piece of concrete overlay began to crumble. A test was conducted at 2,500 cubic feet per second in July. But officials say the third time's the charm. It's exciting. It's, it's fun to watch. You know, that we don't get this opportunity every year. And, and uh, for us that work in this industry, it's... It, uh, we think we're providing a great community service. Near Highland, Julianne Non, PE.com.